Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico, you're listening to The Snowplow Snow Show. Show. Now it's time uh, on Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 I ain't playing games. Cactus, 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 cactus. Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus, 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 this cocksucker. Cactus, 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 cactus. You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus, 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 cactus. This going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus, 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 cactus. You think a tracer can stop me? Hey everyone, this is RBCP, and this is the Snowplow Show, sponsored by GAD. Thanks, GAD. Mr. Don't Do a Show on Friday nights. He had no good reason for not doing a show last night. He was just tired or bored or something. I don't know. Art of phone marking. Guaranteed to be on every Friday, except last Friday. A couple Fridays before that. So, um... I don't know. I guess we could do the Facebook thing. I think the Facebook thing's getting old. What do you guys think? The whole mobbing of Facebook. Um, Rusty submitted a Facebook to do. It's called The Thirsty Cactus Cantina and Grill. Uh, they have a stupid URL that's not not easy to, to tell you. Just uh, type in Thirsty Cactus Cantina and Grill. It's located in Ontario. We're doing Canada again. It's in Dundas, Ontario. So yeah, I guess we'll do that stupid thing again. Be nice. Leave five-star reviews. Be be really silly. Not not really mean and and you know. I don't know. So, uh, I th- like the one we did last week, um, Glory Hole Donuts. I don't think they deleted anything. Like the last I checked, everything was everything we wrote was still there. So, they're awesome. Let's see if Thirsty Cactus Cantina and Grill is still is as awesome as the the Glory Hole people. Yeah, I don't know. No, um, yeah. Should should we even keep doing these Facebook things? It was fun at first, but maybe I should just do it every once in a while instead of every single show. But I'm definitely gonna do the weather report every single show. No, I'm just kidding. I'm getting sick of that guy too. The show is old and stale and boring, and people should stop listening to it. I just do the same old thing every time. Just kidding, Josh. I'm not really sick of Frankie. Who could get sick of Frankie? Hello. Hi, I'm calling for Delarum. Yes. Hey, I'm calling from the photo department. You uh, ordered yes. some photos through the internet. Yes. And I need to know the names of everyone in the photographs. You forgot to write those down. And you forgot what? to type those into the order. What do you mean? Um, like all the people who are in all of the photographs. I need to know the name. Why do you need that? Because I'm going to lick them all. I'm going to lick them all alphabetically. So I'm going to need their last name first and then their first name. I don't want that. So we'll start with the guy in the blue shirt. What's his name? Okay, I'm not answering this. No, you have to or we're not going to do your pictures. Okay, don't. Well, I can't. I want to be able to lick these people. No. Okay. Hello. Hey, uh, this guy in the blue shirt, he, he looks like a William. Is his name William? What guy in the blue shirt? In, in one of your photographs. He's in the very first picture. He's wearing a blue shirt. He has dark hair. Uh-huh. I don't want to lick... It's 30 in the morning. Yeah. It's... On a Saturday. Right. I'm sleeping. It's 9.30. Yeah, I'm sleeping. Oh, well, that's dumb. I quit being a deadbeat. What did you do? Stay up drinking last night? Okay, I'm pretty sure what a department person wouldn't talk to anyone like this. 
I just want to lick the people in your photos. Is that so weird? Yes, it is. I don't think it's that weird. We do this all the time. I'm going to lick everyone. Then I'm going to give them a kiss. But I want to know their names. So it's more... Oh. All right. She's not into licking, apparently. Yeah, so I have photo people today. I don't know. Last time I remember I was wanting to lick photos. I don't remember where that came from. I don't know if that's something... Probably something from the chat room. Also, Nicole sent me a uh, suggestion for photos. And it involves diarrhea and toilets and acid. Hello? Hi, is this Anna Marie? Yes, it is. Hey, it's Greg from the photo department. Hi. Hi. Uh, you ordered some photos over the internet to be picked up? Yes, I did. And there's a small problem. I, I took your photos to the bathroom with me to kind of occupy myself while I took a dump. And there was no toilet paper, so I used the photos to wipe myself with. And the acid from my diarrhea, like, ate through a layer of the... F <laughs> what? What did I say? Great idea, Nicole. She just hangs up on me. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Thanks for nothing, Nicole. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice Last time I tried an, an idea by Nicole. Who isn't up at 9.30 on a Saturday? Deadbeats. I bet that lady's on welfare. Your call has been forwarded oh, to an on. automatic voice message. Bunch of welfare people. Your sleeping call in. has been forwarded to it. So, this lady brought in disposable cameras. I don't know if there's something I could say about disposable cameras. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Oh, come on. I like your idea, Palindrome. I want to tell him that. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Carol? Yes? Hey, Carol. It's it's Roy from the photo department. Yes. And you brought in a disposable camera to us? Yes. Oh, and um, we had this new person working, and he saw the word disposable on it, and he just oh, no. he threw it in the trash. He threw it in the dumpster, and they crushed it. Oh, God. He, he's a, a new person. His name's Palindrome. So I just want to apologize for that, and your disposable camera has been disposed of. Well. Sorry. Hello? Okay. <laughs> no, don't hang up. Oh, I have to let her know it's a prank, because then she's just not going to get her pictures. Hello? Oh, Carol, we got disconnected somehow. I, I, I wasn't finished yet. All right. What? Um, I just wanted to let you know, you need to come to the store, because Palindrome's here, here right now, and I want you to kick him in the balls for what he did. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who is this? Carol, you... you... I, I have... Carol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah get I off got... the phone, dummy. Carol's got the phone, stupid. Who, who are you? Hey, I'm calling from, from the photo department. Photo? Tell, photo. Pictures. What is the photo? Disposable. Yeah, what about it? Well, I'm, I was talking to Carol about it, but you just so rudely interrupted us. We were in the middle of a nice conversation, and you had to get on the phone and just start. What, what is your name? Roy. I already told Carol all this. Carol knows all this stuff. I don't know why I have to tell you. You're not even involved. Your name's not on the order. Okay. Listen. We'll hear from me. Oh, well, no, why? I'm already why? on the f You call me a dummy? Well, you I'm a client of yours, you call me a dummy? You got you on the phone. We'll you interrupted our conversation. You called three times, okay? We'll hear from me. I called Roy. two times cuz Carol, we got disconnected somehow. I think it was Roy. a bad Roy? It was a ba you, Roy? Okay, you'll listen. You'll hear from You'll hear from me. Hey, what's your name? 
screw you, dummy. Oh, that's a horrible name. Your mother named you screw you? <laughs> screw you, dummy. Hello? Hey, Carol. Who is that? I- I'm trying to talk to you, and, and that that horrible man keeps interrupting our conversations. What? I'm calling from the photo department. I have something to tell you. Yes, you told me. Okay. What is your name? My name is Roy for like the 87th time. I want you to come into the store and kick Palindrome in the balls for throwing away your camera. Okay, I got the message. Don't call anymore. Okay, well, I have to tell you one more thing. One more thing. One... (laughs) I don't mean to keep calling her back, but she's got to know that I'm kidding. Like, I can't just let her think her pictures are gone. Poor old lady. Carolyn, can't get to the phone. Please leave a message. What, her her daughter had to leave her? Hey, Carol. It's Roy from the photo department. Hey, uh, I was just kidding around with you. We didn't throw away your camera. It was just a joke. Ha 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 ha. I'm I'm sorry. Like we were just you know bored here in the photo department, and I thought it'd be funny to call and say we we disposed of your disposable camera. See, I may work at this photo department, but I my true passion is being a comedian, and uh, I just wanted to try one of my comedy bits on you. So your your pictures are fine; they're all developed, and you can come and get them. And for all of your trouble, um. Uh, you can have them for free. We come in, I give you those photos for free. Uh, as long as that, that stupid husband of yours doesn't come in, because he's a big dummy, and he, he said, screw you. And I don't like him at all. So you leave him in the car, or you leave him at home. But, you know, your pictures are fine. Please. Okay. What was that, 30 seconds of a message or something? See, I made everything right in that call. I'm a good person. I may harass old ladies, but but it's okay. So Karma99 says he didn't know that he could reuse a disposable camera, and he threw out like 10 of them. And I actually didn't know that either. I had no idea. I don't think I've ever used a disposable camera before. Are they film or are they digital? I don't know. I would think they're film because they're so cheap. (sighs) Okay, Maple wants me to say that I'm their doppelganger. Someone else thinks that everyone's an idiot and nobody will know what the word doppelganger means, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that means. (sighs) So this lady's phone number is 1337, the last four digits. That's Hello. interesting, Please isn't it? your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try oh, to it's reach. it's a Google Voice, and it's 1337. Roy. I hope Carol knows how to check her messages. Hello, you have reached Rhonda Brandsteider. I'm sorry, I missed your Stupid Rhonda and her fucking Google Voice. Hello? Hi, is this Cena? Uh, yeah. Hey, it's Roy from the photo department. Uh, you you ordered some photos. Yeah, from the photo oh. department. Yeah, you ordered some photos through the internet. Yeah. I just wanted yeah. to let you know that we uh, we converted your photos to 35 millimeter film, and you can come up and pick up the roll. You can, it's all ready. Oh, I don't. I think you're calling the wrong person. I didn't. I didn't ask for that. Oh no, no, you sent them through the internet for us to convert into 35 millimeter. No, I sent it just to be printed. <laughs> oh, no. No, you're wrong. It says right on here. So we've got this little plastic roll that you need to come and pick up. Okay, thanks. So what time are you going to be here? What? <laughs> I love her okay things at the end. Your call has been forwarded <sighs> to an automatic voice message system. I'll give up on her. So she thinks she's getting a little plastic roll now. Oh, that's good. Travis wants me to say we converted them to Viewmaster reels. 
I should say we converted them to slides for like one of those slide projectors. I'm sure everyone would want one of those. Hey, I got this email yesterday. Or two days ago, I don't know, from someone named Sean. Not not chat room Sean, but another Sean. And he's confused about the last show, the dial tone stuff that happened in the last show. And if you haven't listened to the podcast version of the last show, oh yeah, that's one thing I should remind you guys about. If you only listen to the live shows, then you missed a few calls, because I made like three calls after the live show was over and dropped them into the podcast version. And the one that I really like happened right around 40 minutes, I think. Uh, it was the, the girl who I said I ripped up her mail, and she picked up and tried to dial again, and I kept playing a dial tone. And the exact same thing happened with her mom. She picked up and she dialed 911, so I got to be 911, because impersonating the police is always a good idea in prank calls. But uh, Sean is confused about the whole dial tone thing. Uh, and so what it is, is like if they're on a landline, and... You know, they hang up. Our call hasn't actually disconnected. I'm still on the line, but they don't know it. So they pick up, and I'm still there, and I play this recording. That's a dial tone for, for those of you who've never used anything other than a cell phone. That's how we know when, when the phone's ready to dial. So they hear the dial tone, and they start dialing the number, and, and I stop the dial tone when they start dialing the number. And then I play phone ringing. And then I just pick up and say, 911, what's your emergency? Actually, I just said, can I help you? Or I said hello or something, because I didn't know what she dialed. She only dialed 911. She didn't dial 911. So that's what happened in the last show, if you're confused about that whole thing. And I'm all prepared here for when that happens from now on. Maybe that'll happen in this show, because I still have another 10 numbers to go. And I don't know why that's possible. Like, landlines have always been like that. They're really primitive, and they use like voltages to tell when a phone's off hook or ringing or, or on the hook or whatever. Uh, what are the voltages? Nobody cares. Like no matter how many times they upgrade the phone system, like they have the best digital switching systems ever, uh, it still works on this old, old system of voltages. And that's why that works. That's probably not why that works. I don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody in the show notes should come in and explain why that still happens today with all of our modern technology and equipment. Why this dumb voltage? Yeah, karma. 90 volts is when it's ringing. I think it's like 48 volts when you're talking on the phone. Oh, wait, no, when it's on the hook. When you're talking on the phone, it's it's, its lowest voltage. It's like 9 or 10 volts or something. Even if you have, like, a super modern phone on your home landline, you're still using super old technology to talk to the phones and talk to the phone companies. And someone in the show notes should do a, a nice explanation of that, because I sure don't know how to explain it, because I don't even know. I just know I've always had a lot of fun with that. Okay, I am ready to call the rest of these numbers and quit the show. Oh, and something I noticed... Let's see if we can hear this, because I, I noticed this on that show when I was editing it. Yeah, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so in the ringing that I recorded, I recorded it for my own show, apparently, because if you listen really closely, you can hear music in the background of the ringing. I'm so dumb. So I need to fix my ringing. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. No one's going to notice. Hey, you've reached Ashley. Sorry I missed your call. If you leave me a message, I'll get back to you soon. Ah, freaking deadbeats. Sleeping in, collecting their welfare. This one is actually film. She brought in film. Hello? Hi, is this Albert? This is he. Hey, it's Roy from uh, the photo department. Oh, hey, oh, hey Roy, right. Yeah, i got to pick those up. I'm, I just forgot. Oh, okay. Well, I just wanted to let you know that they're ready. Uh, but Beautiful. I, Beautiful. I, Thank you, Roy. Well, I had some problems developing them, though, because I'm not used to doing uh -huh. film. You know, we usually, it's all internet, and just, you know, we just take the pictures from the internet and print them. 
So I, this right. Film stuff is perplexing for me. So um, they're all pretty messed up, but I I recreated what they're supposed to look like with crayons. Like we have crayons in our school supplies aisle, and I just got some crayons and I made your pictures. I, I'm quite the artist, if I do say so myself, and uh. they're fine. I mean, they look good because I was able to see what they look like before I melted them. Okay. So, so I mean, it's fine, and you're going to get a ten percent discount. All right. Well, uh, can I look at them first before I decide to buy them, then, Roy? If they're, you know. Not... Yeah. Well, I mean, you brought them in, so it's, you definitely have to buy them. But yeah, you can take a look at them first. They they look really good, though. Like, I mean, they do. They do. They look really good. I, I I got the. All right, Roy. The, let me check them out first before. Okay. I got the the ninety six uh, crayon pack, so I was able to do virtually pretty much every color. It, All right, I let mean, me check them out, though, Roy. I'll, I'll be by later. Looks okay? amazing, and 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 the, since it's wax, it's like a glossy finish. Okay. And then I was able right, to you, like all the fat people in the I'll, photo. I was able to make them a little bit thinner, you know, just to. Okay. And I, I didn't color their teeth yellow like they are in the photos. I made them more white. Gotcha, Roy. All right, I'll come by later. I'm on the road, really. And I, you know, you're not supposed to be on your cell phone when you drive. It's illegal. I know. I'm trying to get off of it. Yeah, so why are you doing it? It's illegal. I'm, bas- I'm pretty sure I'm just going to call and report you right now. Okay. Yep. Citizens arrest. How do you plead gotcha. gu- guilty or not guilty? I don't know, Roy. I'll talk to you soon, though, okay? All right. I, I am calling the sheriff, though. I'm calling the state police. I'm going to tell them that there's a man on his cell phone and he's not supposed to be on. Do you think you can... Oh, I was going to ask him to stay on three-way while I call the sheriff. Well, that guy was way too accepting of his Crayola photos. Thank you, Travis, from Public Nuisance Pranks for that idea. I stole that from him in the chat room. Let's try Jackie. Jackie is from out of state. She is from KDK's area. But this this, uh, photo place is on the other side of the country. That's crazy. Hello? Hi, Jackie? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the photo department. You brought in some, I mean, you sent in some photos from the internet? I did. Okay, great. And uh, um, they they were ready, but I, um, you know, I they're all ready. I took them to the bathroom though to occupy myself while I took a dump. And <laughs> you're really telling me this? I'm sorry. It, I'm really embarrassed by this whole thing. But there was no toilet paper, so I used the photos to wipe myself with. Okay, who is this, really? I'm Roy from the photo department. But the the acid from my is diarrhea. This a joke? No, no, the acid from my diarrhea ate through the, the layer of the photo that protects it from being cleaned up. And I tried to, to wipe it all off, but it the protective what layer... Is, what are you trying to tell me here? This I, has got to be a joke. No, it's not a joke at all, ma'am. I'm just, I wanted to apologize and let you know if you were going to come in today, it's going to be like another three hours because we have to reprint and we've got a really long queue. I'm just being honest with you. I didn't want to... Okay, let's be honest with me. I, I'm being... I was going to come in within like the next hour or two. Okay, no. After I... that phone conversation, what is your name again? My name is Roy. Roy, after that phone conversation that you just had with me, I suggest you print those pictures immediately. No, no, we, we've got and a lot. I also of... suggest that you don't call a customer and give that type of information on the phone again. That was totally inappropriate. Well, no, it's just being honest. You want me to lie to you? You'd rather the company lie to you? I would rather a company just say there was there was an issue with the pictures and it will be a little longer before they print it. Well, you don't work here, so why don't you just stop suggesting things because you don't know how to do our job. But look, the, the thing that's really interesting is that one of the people in that photo, I swear to God, is my doppelganger. Like, they look exactly like me. I mean, it's like me in the photos, basically. It's really weird. Okay, right. Let's just print the pictures, so, uh, and I will be in with my husband to pick them up. Well, they're they're um, like- they're not going to be ready for about three more hours, so don't come in before, you know, 1 p.m. Thank you, Roy. 12.30 tops. Thanks, Roy. But listen, 
Listen, wh- who's the guy in the blue shirt? Because he looks just like me. What's his name? Thank you, Roy. If, if his name is Roy, too, I, I, I swear to God, I'm just going to freak out. Jackie. Hello? Hey, the guy in the blue shirt, he, his, he looks like his name is Roy, but maybe I'm just thinking that because my name is Roy and he looks just like me. Roy, what's your last name? Gerbel. Is his name Roy, too? Am I right? What's, what's, how do you spell your last name? G-E-R-B-I-L. But it's Gerbel. Hmm, that's, a, that's, a, that's a unique name, Roy. It's not Gerbel. It's, 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 it's Gerbel. Call the number back. Hey, listen. Okay. She asked me not to call the number back, so I guess I won't call the number back. Oh, crap. Which one was that? Okay, that was Jackie. can't believe she's being, like, all insulting about my last name, saying it's Gerbil. Jerk. Okay, two left. Oh, so Jackie, speaking of her being in Katie K's state, and and th- this place that I got these photos from, these customer numbers from, uh, they were playing Katie K music on their, their on-hold thing. They were play- it's, it's a pharmacy, this place that does photos. Uh, they do photos and pharmacy stuff, and their hold music was "I Want to Be Sedated." Isn't that hilarious? But it's also hilarious because that's Katie K music. He plays that every single show. Oh, I know what we'll do. While well, while well, since nobody's answering, I forgot all about the thir- thirsty cactus cantina. Let's see what's happening on that Facebook page. Um. Only five comments. Well, I guess it is Saturday morning. You guys are all deadbeats that collect welfare. Uh, the grilled cactus was excellent. Jose says, glory holes, glory holes, need them all. It's like a slogan or something. Really wish to join, but I have to listen to KDK show at the same time. And someone says, oh, that was not us. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's look at reviews. Ah, there's only one review. It's by Jose, so it probably sucks. Because Jose sucks. The service was great. The bar was awesome. Even the bartender was a part-time glory hole worker. Thanks, Jose. So even though I'm about to quit the show, uh, everyone should go to the Thirsty Cactus Cantina and Grill on Facebook. I'll give you the link, Uncle Grandpapa. Oops. That's not the link. Sometimes my, um... Yeah, it won't do it. I can't give you the link. Someone else give him the link. Uh, sometimes the, the, the thing, the amazing thing I use... What's it called? Um, to click on it. Synergy! Let's me use my, lets me use my mouse between computers. Sometimes it does not copy things properly, and I don't know why... It's an amazing program, but it does that occasionally. Thank you, Palindrome, for pasting that for me. All right, let's try this one. Five more times to try. (coughs) Your call has been forwarded to an automatic (sighs) voice message. Let's look at Michelle's page to make the walking head happy. I'm only going to read it if she's angry today, though. Whoa, Twitter layout's all different. Uh, she's too happy today, or yesterday. She hasn't posted today. Uh, no, Michelle's boring. Sorry, I can't read these. She's really happy. She did her taxes perfectly by herself. Was complicated also. My bank made a huge mistake, and I won't see my tax return for weeks. Oh, well. She almost seems normal. She's going to switch banks. Talking about her grandma. Is cool where I am. I am glad. Oh, look, she says Walgreens is a nice store. Is true. I not paid to say that. Yep, sorry. These are boring. Can't read them, even though I'm reading them all. Okay, I'm just going to quickly call every single photo customer before I quit. (laughs) 
So what I'll probably do... What? What? She picked up. I heard her. What the hell, Jill? Hi, Jill. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was the recording. I kept hanging up. Oh, no, I was just talking <laughs> to my coworker. I'm, I'm actually calling. Um, you, you had your photos done here. I'm calling from the photo department. Yeah. You, you sent them in through the Internet? And uh, I picked them up. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a problem with those. Tell me. Um, well, the, the NSA's uh, tracking software that we have installed on our computers, they, they detected that you guys are all terrorists. Teddy Navarro? Well, I'm meeting Teddy right now. Teddy what? I, the, so, the NSA... What? Uh, yeah, they, they flagged all your photos. You're all in big trouble. <laughs> Are you cracking? Was that a smoker's laugh, or what the hell was that? No! It's a crazy... You, you have no idea what you're doing to me. Okay, what's up? Okay, when, when you came in... Yes. Um, uh, and paid eighteen dollars for four eight by ten. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Those weren't even eight by ten worthy. I mean, what were you thinking? They were. No, they really weren't. They I were, know. They're just like dumb okay. photos on your Instamatic, and you're printing eight by tens. Like, why would you do that? Okay. I don't know. Well, are you are you cracking or something? I am not. I'm trying to work right now, and you are not getting to the point. Okay. The point is that uh, you, you, our computers <laughs> flagged your faces. And the the NSA uh, says that um, you need to come back in and have a little talk. That's, ri- that's ridiculous. We're going to bring you into our basement room and interrogate you. Are you? Are you going to whip me? <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't we? Well, I don't know if you're and you're always telling me to be well. All right, listen. <laughs> really, is say that be well? Yes. L- like in the the movie, like in in. Thank uh, you. In, in uh, okay. De- Demolition Man? So, do, do me a favor, because I clearly, I'm actually working right now. Be so well, be well, Lenina, Lenina Huxley. Did I say that right? <laughs> yes, you did. Okay, you did, listen. You get, you're getting the director's name right. Okay. That wasn't the director's name, stupid. Okay, well, the person in the photos, the guy in the blue shirt. What shirt are you talking about? Okay, I just picked up surfer pictures. Oh, no, no. In, so Surfer pictures? I just picked up four photos of Teddy Navarro in a wetsuit on a wave. Oh, that's hot. So, But he's wearing a, like, a, a, a blue jumpsuit, uh, surfer bodysuit, right? He's wearing a black, curly... Bye. Bye. He's wearing a black, Hey, tell those curly... people to shut the fuck up. Because we're talking. Well, no, we're working. We're working. Who are they? Where do you work? <laughs> And so, like, it's this is really getting in my way. So I, I gotta hang up. You gotta tell me what the fuck this was about. Okay, the guy in the in the photo, he looks just like me. I'm like his doppelganger, but I don't even surf. <laughs> I'm actually really fat. <laughs> but you know, in, in he the can't f- possibly look at you like you if you're fat and bald because Teddy's got tons of hair. When did I say he, I was bald? Because I assumed if you were fat, you were bald too. That's a horrible assumption to make. I can be fat without being bald. I don't know. Are you punking me? What's you, going on? You're really rude. How are you? Well, you're ruder than so, I am. Oh, you know all kinds of rude. I'm older than you are, so I've had more time to be rude. Oh, aren't so you going to assume? Favorite. Aren't you going to assume that I'm 50 years old since I'm fat and bald? No, you you sound young. Oh, okay, thanks. I'm 50 years old, so get off your my 50-year-old mama's ass and tell me what this is about. I've told you like a hundred times now, and I'm okay, getting really bored bullshit. with this phone call. And Yeah, but see, you're, you're being kind of wacko. So call me back when you take your Prozac and let me know what's going on. Okay, I will. You just wait. You know what? I had no idea what to say to her when she said she picked up her photos. Like, None of the, the things that you guys had suggested would really work. Yeah, but I, I'm deleting her number, you know. I'm done with her. But I still have, like, eight. Eight left. Sorry, Hawaiian, no weather news today. It's a nice day, and we don't need the weather news. Literally no one's already dead, so what's it matter? You have reached the voicemail box of 9 0 oh. So... 
Hey, is this Sharia? Yes, yeah, speaking. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling from from the photo department. Okay, is something wrong with it? Oh, sort of. <laughs> okay, so you had the four disposable cameras, right? Uh, are those disposable? I think they were disp- no. Yeah, you brought in the cameras, right? They're disposable cameras. N- no, they are, they are uh, on my I use my camera with it. Oh, did you leave your camera yeah. here? No, I did not. You just they brought are in. They're not disposable. They're not disposable. They are film. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that joke yeah. doesn't work then. But anyway, uh, like a lot yeah. of, a lot of these people in the photos, they were too fat to fit on the picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I told you it in, it's in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're so fat. Yeah. Like their their whole bodies won't even fit. So basically, you just oh, really? have pictures the of picture. their stomachs, of their fat stomachs, and their man boobs, and that's Ooh, all that'll... What are those? I don't know. You don't know what man boobs uh, are? No. Because I only know where I use those is, uh, uh, you know, in the island. Uh-huh. Uh, like a dancer, the dancer of Polynesian, you know, Hawaiian dance. That yeah, like yeah. The, 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 the dance photos were fine because she wasn't fat. But uh, everyone else in the photos are just fat and they won't fit on these photos. They're too, oh, really? They're too fat. <laughs> I don't know where we get that. <laughs> yeah, I just so like... So what, what are you going to do? D- don't... Well, we can't print those. And then the oh, okay. our printers also won't print ugly people. And most of the people in these photos are really ugly. Really? Yeah, really. Maybe it's the camera. No, no. No, don't blame the camera. It's just, you're ugly. All the people are ugly. Ew, ugh. Uh, Maybe it's not mine. (laughs) Well, no, I'm not saying it's you, but the people that you took pictures of, they're all ugly. Uh, Really? Yeah. Yeah, but I I don't remember that I didn't take up ugly people you can't take pictures of ugly people because our printers won't print ugly people it's in the computer it won't let it work I, n- I know i know what i mean you know what i i know what you mean but i i don't remember i picture ugly people oh I di- yeah yeah well you're so never maybe, gonna uh, you're never gonna see them because we can't print them yeah okay don't print it if you do uh, you cannot see uh, we cannot print them but i don't remember any that i took some picture like that because the, the film that I use is, you know, the 24 exposure. Uh-huh, yeah. So, uh, is this a bell? Are oh, no. Bell? Like, how no, come you no. still use film cameras? Like, why don't you use, like, digital cameras? Uh, no, because it's an old camera. Yeah, why don't you get a new camera? We sell new cameras here. They're only 100 bucks. I know, but I, I have my cell phone, too. Uh, but instead of using my cell phone, I use the... Cause I, I still try to use it because I like it. Yeah, but it uses but film. Know. Film's expensive. So it's yeah. It's, so it's all. Uh, it's all. Uh, all the film are like that. Yeah. So look. Anyway, the the pictures that are left that I'm actually going to print, I'm going to put uh-huh. those on slides. Do you have a slide projector? Slide. No, I don't. Okay. Well, we're going to print them on slides. Slide. Yeah. Uh, then that's expensive. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's a lot more expensive than just regular photos. I'm gonna print them on slides what? though, and you have to buy a slide machine, a slide projector, so you can. Proje- no, I don't. I don't need to do that. If you, if it's that's the way you're gonna do it, uh, no, I, I don't need to. Um, do, you don't need to print anymore. Do you have just a slide projector? It. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I, we don't have. Okay, we sell them here in the store. They're only two hundred and thirty dollars. Oh my God! No, I'm not gonna spend. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend a, a projector for this kind of picture. No. Okay. Well, it's okay oh. if you if you think that. But I, all four film are like that. Yeah, there's fat people and ugly people, and then the rest are gonna be slides. Oh, do you have a viewmaster? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have. I only have camera. I only have only computer, and that's it. Okay. Well, we have we have okay in our toy department. We have the viewmaster. Do you know what a viewmaster is? It's a toy. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to spend money anymore. Oh, no, no, no. We'll give you a free yeah. Viewmaster because those are only like $3. And we'll just give it to you for free. And we're going to we're gonna put your photos on Viewmaster reels. Uh, really? No. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, you hold it up to your eyes and you push down the little lever and it shows your photos. 
know, maybe it's mis- uh, it, it's like thinking is why it's, it's like it's like likely. virtual reality. It's like augmented reality. You're looking through this viewmaster thing. Viewmaster. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, the future. It's basically the future. I know, but uh, when you uh, put it in a slide, the pen it's expensive. That's what I'm thinking too. So, oh. uh, what what is the what is the use of uh, uh, printing it if they are expensive and they are uh, not good? And then you oh, have no. to, like you wanna see is it to the slide? Nah. Oh, Viewmaster is really cheap. Yeah. No, I have. I just got this great idea. Actually, someone mm-hmm. in the chat room has this great idea. Uh, we're gonna put your pictures on a light bright. Do you know what a light bright is? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna print out your photos on black construction paper, and you put the black mm-hmm. construction paper on front of the light bright, and then you push the little pegs in, and that'll make your picture. Make your picture. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. Yeah, uh, the only reason that I, I did, I don't know, maybe my camera is messed up because I don't remember we did those things or. Oh, those ugly people. I, yeah, I don't remember really. It's I only, you know, like the beach and the street beach. of Hawaii, and then the building. Uh huh. Oh. Those. Yeah. Well, you no. Know, what we can do on some of the photos, like on the ones that are too fat, uh, what we can do, we have uh, coloring books, and they're like eleven by fourteen coloring books. They're really big, so they're big enough to fit the fat people on. So no, don't don't do that anymore. Don't do that. Oh no, we're just gonna print them as line drawings in a coloring book, and you'll have to get crayons and color them. Oh my God! So what I'm gonna do? I'm I'm an old woman. <laughs> well, yeah, it'll bring out your inner child. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is ugly, ugly people. I need it. Yeah. But <laughs> people. Yeah. So but, maybe the camera. The, the camera has a problem because I. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot this uh, kind of picture. Yeah, but listen, since it's line drawings, it takes away a lot of the uh-huh. features of the photos. So the ugly mm-hmm. people don't even matter. So we can print your ugly people into a coloring book. And then the <laughs> and fat. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Gonna... Yeah, and then no, you, we'll give you some crayons. We'll give you a starter kit of crayons. But if you want to color all the colors, you have to buy the 64 pack. Oh my God! No, don't do, don't do, don't print anymore. So, if you say they're ugly, they're ugly. Just uh, maybe. Well, I hope that not four of those roll of film. I oh, have four. No, no it's yeah. yeah. You have four film, four thirty-five millimeter films here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, all of them. They they all look fine. It's just some of them are ugly. The, some of them are too fat for four by six yeah. prints. But uh, you said. All for the film are uh, some are okay, but you can you re- you print them all already, and they are coming like that. The yeah. Same, well, the, same? the computer won't let us print ugly people, and the fat people yeah, just won't so, fit on the four by sixes. We could print posters of the fat people. You know. Yeah. D- don't don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. So okay. Just, I'm gonna on just th- leave it. Three of these. Yeah. I'm gonna print them as posters, like giant posters that go on your wall. No, because you're going to spend uh, a lot of time, and I don't need them anyway. If they are fat, what I'm going to do? I don't have a, a, a art uh, show to bring. <laughs> no. You can hang them up I'm on just... your wall, though. and like, We'll, we'll make them blacklight posters. Uh, 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 oh, well, okay, yeah, well, okay, yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. We'll make them blacklight posters. You can put them on your ceiling and smoke weed and... Oh my God! No, I uh, okay. I'm sorry, but I, I really if you do, if you cannot uh, just don't do anything and don't print anymore. I'll well, just pay whatever it comes and well, look, yeah. If you want a discount, some of these photos we can sell them to the Japanese because they're into this really weird fetish pornography stuff. We can sell them to the yeah. Japanese and they'll give us money. Cause no, because so, some of these I'm just, are. I'm, not, I'm gonna gonna explain. So I hope oh, it's they, not. They give uh, you money. They'll give you money. No, I, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll it'll, yeah, it'll just, pay for your slide projector that you have to buy. Uh, don't print them anymore if they are not good. Um, just don't print. Cause okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna be here? Uh, are you gonna I, be here I, soon I to, p- to pick up? Because they're yeah. all about. I, I'm. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. I'm, losing you? I'm, no, no, I'm still here. I'm just about ready. I just have to print up these posters and the coloring book, and it'll be all ready when you get here. Yeah, but uh, what I mean is I don't want to pay that much. Oh, I mean, it won't be that much. Yeah. yeah. They're $500 tops. Wow. No. Are you kidding me? Yes. I do, No, don't do it. Please. Oh, too late. Too late. I, no, I, I don't have any money because I'm... I'm well, that's I'm why, not sure it's that my film. I don't know. That's why we're going to sell some of these to the Japanese. And that yeah. way they'll pay for it. And it'll be the same price as you normally pay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't have any 100 or 500 that you're saying. No, don't. Uh, that's yeah. why I said don't do it. Well, uh, okay. okay, well, I'll yeah. see you soon then when you get here to pick up your okay. posters and your... Light bright. Okay, thanks. Do you, do you okay. have a light bright, or, or are you gonna buy a light bright from us? No. Like I said, don't do anything. So I, I okay. don't want to spend any money anymore. Okay. Um. Do yeah. you do you have like a lot of light bright pegs? Like, do you have all the skin tone light bright pegs? No. Okay. I don't right. have anything here in my apartment. I'll I'll, I'll, I I'll sneak apartment. I'll sneak in some extra light bright pegs for you for free. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Well, bye. I'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Do you have a 60-watt bulb for the light bright? I don't know. I don't have. Okay, okay. I'll s- slip one of those in there, too. Yeah, okay. A free light bulb for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. That's not my film. Stupid mama, She's still there. So I just, I guess we're just going to sit here and spy on her for the rest of the day. Because she's still on the line. Oh, she's banging shit around. She's mad about those light bright pictures. Ma'am? You are receiving a call from an inmate at the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility in (laughs) Rome. Slamming those cabinets. Okay, I'm hanging up on her. (laughs) Yeah, she she was pretty accepting of everything I said. Thanks for all the suggestions, everyone in the chat room. Uh, pretty much most everything I said to her was from the chat room. Let's take one last look at uh, the Thirsty Cactus Cantina and Grill. We're going to wrap this shit up. Nothing new. No new comments. Oh, they're deleting comments now. Yep, they're deleting all of our comments. Damn it, damn it. Uh, Duracell Bronze left a new review. They can't delete those. It says, instead of chairs, you have to sit on a cactus, but the spikes are spread out, so it doesn't hurt that much. The glory hole is in the bathroom, which was the best seat in the place. Thanks for that review, Duracell. And that's pretty much it. They're deleting everything. So if other people wrote things on there, and I didn't read them, it's because they got deleted. Bastards. So far, uh, the Glory Hole Donut Shop. Uh, that's the only place that can handle our, our humor. I donated 25 bucks to RT Firefly's, Rob T. Firefly's Kickstarter for the Doctor Who Book of Misinformation, where he just spreads a bunch of lies about all the Doctor Who shows. I'm a big supporter of anything that just, like, spreads lies and confuses people. So everyone should support that. I'm going to link to it in the show notes. Uh, but before you support him, you should definitely support the PLA by going to patreon.com slash phone losers and paying for these shows instead of getting them for free, because paying for them is better. It's only like a dollar a month. One dollar a month. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Cactus This wants to know where they can send me emails. 
You can send me emails at rbcp at phonelosers.org. Uh, if you don't want to do Patreon, I've set up phonelosers.org slash um, donate. Donations? Donate? I don't know. One of those two. That's all. Thanks for listening to the show. I had fun. I might call some more of those photo people later this evening and drop them into the show for the podcast people. So if you listened live, it sucks to be you because now you have to listen to the podcast too so you can hear the rest of the pranks. Oh man, I don't have I Want to Be Sedated. I was going to end with that song. Oh well, happy Saturday everyone. Thanks for listening. It's been fun. I'm going to go get some Pepsi. I'm really tired. Mm -hmm.